throwing dollars like I wish it would last time. Throwing dollars on my friends were good. I have flavors, no this ain't no flavor. I just came to say well. Sorry for the things I did when I was just afraid of never being famous. Was saying that I gave up. Honestly, my thought would be no savage, just like flavor. No this ain't no flavor. I just came to say well. Sorry for the things I did when I was just afraid of. Who I was inside then. Sorry for who I been. Wish I could rewind it. We could hear the same. Never stick to me, no. Stick to me because I'm cold. Acting like I'm the one to run on. Maybe because I'm not the kind of girl. You can believe in the miracle, babe. Watch out for the demon. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Jerry Patrick here with another video for vlogmas if you're new here make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel and click that bell um and make sure you are following me on all social media platforms from twitter instagram at it's jerry patrick and then also follow my uh, photography page and stuff instagram social media page um jerry patrick studios and studio jerry on twitter for today guys i have an interesting video and i got this from one of my favorite podcasts is content queens and it's content with a k in their thing but um their whole podcast is about um bringing insight on a content creator and uh, that career or whatever <laughs> that part um but yeah so um a little bit of background on the topic for this um video today um i asked a question on their show stuff like that i didn't know they were actually going to feature my question and stuff too on their show to um their new newest show today and everything and my question was generally like what would they like to see from a small younger gay black um, I mean, youtuber and everything too and i told them I'm a, I'm a professional photographer by trade which i am and i'm published and everything too if not just make sure to check out jerry patrick studios period plug that back in <laughs> one of the things um kia said um i think kia or vic said i can't remember I, but they both was they both was putting thumb gems and, and shout out to you guys and this video is, is dedicated to you guys but yeah so one of the um things they asked was like as a female content creator and stuff too they have experience um and me being a photographer they have experienced a lot of um, uncomfortableness and unprofessionalism um, with male photographers and with them being content creators they always on collaborations sponsorships with different brands and everything too and they was like you being a gay black male and stuff too that will really help like if you did like a um like an etiquette like her um photography like etiquette with guys and stuff too specifically for straight males and she was like you don't have to emphasize that you're gay and or black and stuff like that because people's gonna probably already identify or see you as that and everything too um by watching your content and, and vice versa but yeah and so i was like oh my god that's a genius idea i wish i would have thought about that but i never thought think about stuff like that because i just assume like i didn't even assume i feel like i didn't put any real thought behind it and everything too or never went in that depth to think about that like have people experienced that and everything too well back <laughs> so um i thought it was a brilliant and genius idea so i'm gonna start with um put um with etiquette definitely for specifically males i'm gonna talk to you straight males too this is for you guys so as a professional photographer and everything I work with a lot of female models and everything. I usually generally work with more female models than I do male models, but that, I feel like with me that I have kind of like, have worked with both evenly now, now that I have shot. And even with me working with male models as well too and everything. For me, I have a little background stuff too. Before I even started like being a photographer, I used to model all the time and stuff, definitely back when I was in college and everything too. People used to ask me, can I do shoes and stuff like that. I used to run walk-in shows, even though I'm like five, six, but I would walk into like independent, you know, like independent, you know, shows. So nothing like on no New York level and stuff like that, period. But for me, um, I always like emp empathize and stuff too, just on a model side too, because I always want to make sure I'm connecting with my photographer and everything and make sure I'm giving what they want and everything too. If we're collaborating and have an idea or something like that, I want to make sure I get envision their vision and stuff like that. The last shoot I did was um, for my friend Kayla and stuff like that, who's one of my uh, 
um, one of my friends from college and stuff like that that um she's like has done it she's like a model or <laughs> feel like for me she's like almost a, she's a real model I feel like she can go get signed anywhere but um but yeah but i've asked her to um when i started doing photography she was one of the first people i shot and everything too and i and also i worked with her outside of photography where i was just the creative director or styling the shoot because i have a uh, fashion stylist background as well too and i've styled celebrities and i've styled done independent stuff just above my portfolio and everything as a wardrobe stylist and everything too so i have done things and asked things of um models where it have maybe dealt with implied nudity um or lingerie or something where sh skin is being shown everything too so definitely for a male photographer dealing with a female client and everything too make sure you are always setting the standard of business it shall always be business even if you guys have a friendship or you know each other on a friend level and stuff like that make sure even with friends even in this goes for even myself and this is how i personally do too because i have people friends who inquired me about my services and everything too so when i give my services and everything too i make sure the tone is changed in our conversations so even if we're doing via text phone calls once it's talking about business you guys are for my services automatically it's going to be money involved receipts and invoices will be sent and everything so i make sure that i am clear cut and concrete about that and everything too and when we're thinking about the idea creating a shoot and everything too so i'm taking to my world of what how i do things so when i'm doing dealing with my clients and everything too when somebody comes to me and everything about it so like jerry i want to do a shoot i said okay first i'm gonna let you know say what days i first usually ask what days um what is your um these are my um packages i usually do packages for my shoots and stuff like that so i'll give them like my three packages unless it's or i'll give them like my event package if they're asking me to shoot like an event or anything so I'll give them that and everything too first i'll ask actually what they're looking for and how many looks they're doing because i'm gonna send them my package but i'm gonna give them the best recommendation one because usually they're gonna try to go for the cheap one i'm like you're only this is one look and this is not gonna we're not gonna be able to accomplish what you want. And with me as a professional, I'm I'm always about quality over quantity, period. I don't care how many people you shoot. Most photographers will tell you, just shoot everything, shoot everything, stuff like that. You can do that. Definitely for me, my earlier stage of my photography career, I literally shot like people when I could and can and stuff like that. I had a full-time job. I was going to school full-time. And like on my days off, I'll collab. Me and my friend Bakir, usually my friend Bakir, I've shot him a, a thousand times doing a lot of different things and everything. We'll just collab and shoot and do things and stuff too. But um, with that, now that I'm half far from, from doing more like, free shoes now i'm coming to building my business and my own everything i'm all about all about like quality over quantity because i'm working with you i'm gonna make sure what we're doing is right and it needs to be up to a, a certain level that i'm pleased with because i would not put something out with my name on it and just be like oh here you go and this is it no, because most people are gonna see my work and they're gonna judge it and stuff like that. I want to be judged on a full package. I want to own a complete work. I don't ever want to give no half ass work because if I'm asked with somebody, I don't want to give, I don't want them to give me half ass. So I'm not giving you half ass and my name is on a brand. It's my name, Jared Patrick, <laughs> period. So with that saying, make sure, I guess this will be tip one, make sure everything is about tone and establishing that foundation make sure you are being clear cut these are my prices this is what we're doing and everything too um make sure everything's in paper and pen or email make sure everything is documented and stuff um the next step would be when you actually finalize that thing with your female client make sure leaving that foundation and being um and establishing that tone and the booking and booking that thing with that client and everything too the time when you want to communicate and everything too definitely for guys and stuff when you're working with a female client make sure you guys are keeping things between like nine to five if that person is not if she's not your friend and she's just like a, actually a, a woman or something or female that's actually 
asking for your services. And make sure you're not texting her all hours in the night. I keep things between nine and five, or at least if you if she, they know that you have like another job and stuff like that, you can't really get into. You okay, can talk to her during the day. Maybe you're at work and stuff like that. Make sure it's nowhere past 8 or 9 o'clock and stuff too. 9 is pushing it, but make sure it's an appropriate hour where it's like, okay. And most times too, if you're really dealing with, make sure it's, um, make sure everything is like through, if it's going to be through text and stuff, make sure it's a tone set and everything too. Or if not, make sure it's through email. I would say prefer it for mails. They stream mails. Keep things in email format unless you call in on the phone or everything too. Make sure it's email and make sure you're not calling no woman past a certain time of the day and everything too because that makes them uncomfortable. That makes them never want to work with you again in the future. I don't care how cute you are or whatever. We're living in an era where we're in an era of hashtag me too and everything. And I stand with the women and people, women and men who has been abused or been violated because of somebody of power because they didn't do anything or did something that they were uncomfortable with. Um, definitely that's really inappropriate and stuff and everything too. So make sure you are keeping things professional and everything too. That's why it's always good at jump to always set that tone for that thing. It's about business and you should be about your business, period. And you should, you should never make somebody feel uncomfortable and calling them and stuff like that or trying to Mac and stuff like that. That's inappropriate. Very inappropriate and everything too. Once I feel like if you guys done working together and that job is going to be complete with that one minute stuff like that, maybe later on or something or whatever, you can talk whatever, but that's another story. But for the sake for this video, keep things professional and clean and cut period always um while shooting a female client you want to make sure um wherever you guys are shooting at is if it's a destination shoot or in studio shoot make sure you have a make sure you have a space or wherever and make sure your female model is feeling comfortable for me i've done a lot of destination shoots where i'm shooting outside and everything too so with my female um female clients and everything definitely if i'm doing like an implied nudity shoot or lingerie in which i have done and everything too in the past always make sure my uh, female my female client was either had an area that I felt was safe or comfortable and stuff like that where they can get dressed in and everything too. Then also, um, if it wasn't, I will find an area and everything too or we'll go to like maybe the um, Starbucks or whatever to so, so use some type of public restroom or something like that where I feel like they were safe and everything too or usually on me, I would bring like an extra blanket or something like that or create some type of private area where they were able to change stuff too. Make sure you do do that for your female clients and everything too. Definitely if you're shooting, no matter if you're shooting like lingerie or doing like an implied nudity, even if they're just dressing fully clothed and stuff like that and everything too where all areas are covered. Make sure there is some type of area. Also too, um, for me, definitely I know almost um, time people don't want to see like the art process of their work being created. Process of being created with your uh, female model. I would say let your female model bring somebody if they want to bring somebody to the shoe or something just to feel safe, feel comfortable and everything too. I, I allow my models to do that as well too and everything. Bring somebody so they feel safe and feel comfortable. Um, The third thing is up too, when you're doing a shoe, definitely, um, actually I think this is the fourth thing, not the third thing. This is the fourth thing. <laughs> when doing a shoot with um, with a female model, definitely when you're doing implied nudity or you're doing lingerie and everything too, while shooting them and everything, make sure your model is feeling very comfortable and everything too and they feel comfortable and they feel safe. Because if they don't feel comfortable feel safe, first of all, you're not going to get a good image. Um, you're going to have to pull something out your ass, stuff like that, and your work is not going to be up to par to what you, you, you know you can bring. Um, but also, I'll, every time I shoot with my female clients, I always make sure if they're okay, I'll ask them prior to us shoot them, like, I have this idea, but I want to make sure you're okay, because if you're not feel safe, definitely when I do an implied nudity shoot, I always ask my female clients, are you, um, will you feel comfortable doing this and everything? If they don't feel comfortable, I won't push it onto them, and I'll just let it be. 
every damn step, but we're gonna just scratch our idea. Yes, I may be upset, the artist in me might be upset, but the human, the human, human being that I am and stuff too, I empathize and I rather care for somebody safety or if I feel safe and everything doing something just not for the sake of art period um I've done stuff like I have done implied nudity shoes and stuff like that and a lot of my females kind of say I feel comfortable doing this with you if it was somebody else I wouldn't do this with and everything too which I've been thankful but it's just on the fact that I try to make sure I create a safe and safe and safe environment with my customer uh, with my clients when I'm shooting with them um, and this definitely goes also, this information I'm telling you to also refers to male models as well too. Because uh, males too, men also do get uncomfortable and everything. No matter how handsome or well good looking they are and stuff like that, they can still feel uncomfortable. I may not feel right. Um, definitely even prior to, I'll say last thing, to prior to... Um, even doing a shoot and everything to ask your clients or ask that client how comfortable you feel doing certain things and stuff too is okay we take it to this direction if you have some ideas or some cool ideas and stuff that you want to do ask them if they feel comfortable doing x y and z period um because that can probably leave a leave probably like get you to know like what you could do so far and everything too because it will save you the trouble, save you the headache and everything. Once you know like where their limits are doing modeling or do whatever that creation for that image you're trying to create. And this doesn't even only just go for um, photography, but also videography, wherever that is, even if you're like a painter or whatever type of media medium that you use to express yourself stuff like that. It could be sculpture. Just um, I'll always ask this and everything to ask that client what they feel comfortable doing and what they need to do but yeah um i think i feel like i hit everything if i did not if you guys have any questions comments or concerns make sure you comment down below and everything to to interact and everything as well too because I'm kind of didn't write nothing down. I like, I hate, I'm not a person who can write down topics and be like, okay, we're gonna do this, do that, do this, do that, and everything too. I kind of did this off the top of the dome and everything too, because I feel like when I kind of like organize everything, I feel like I'll trip over myself and I'll stay on a topic too long before I'm going to the next one and next one and next one. That's just how maybe I feel. But if that didn't work for you guys in this video, I can do another video of this and everything too. And make sure you guys get it and everything too. So it brings me to the end of this video. If you got it to this far in my video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share because it's sharing is caring and everything too. And thank you guys so much for supporting me and everything. And make sure you guys are following me on all of my social medias. It's Jared Patrick on Instagram and Twitter, and Jared Patrick Studios on Instagram, and then Studio Jared on Twitter. Love you guys. Peace out. Yeah, I'm snowing daddies like I wish you were last time. I'm snowing daddies, all my friends were good. I had flavors.